Hey everyman, driver nation, what's going on? Dave Erickson here at the Spokane ORV Park and with me, we got a pickup truck. That my friends, 2017 Honda Ridgeline Black Edition. I can't believe I'm winded. Anyways, we're here because you asked for it. Some light duty off-roading here, sun setting, so let's get started. Let's go. All right, nation, it is time. Time to put it in drive. Time to go off-road, light duty, in this second generation Honda Ridgeline, which is considered a mid-sized truck. Now, we always begin by going down a descent. That's redundant, right? I haven't done this for a long time, so I'm glad to have you back with us. And I wanna tell you that we've got 7.9 inches of ground clearance. I apologize for the darkness, it is just after dusk. The sun has set, and I want to get in this, get this in before uh, the end of my week. Pretty nice articulation with this uh, vehicle. Now, as opposed to a body on frame like a truck, this is a unibody. So what's going to happen in some cases, which I probably won't be able to showcase too much, is that if we are up on two wheels or three wheels, one of those wheels in the back, this might be a good example, is going to be pretty high off the ground because of how tight it is back there with the, uh, the axle. Okay, so far so good. I like that. Now, we're coming up across something real nice here, a lot of little whoop de doos here. This is going to be a nice little hill. Now, we've got some different drive modes, and maybe I'll go into that right now. I feel like I'm really rushed. I'm sorry. So, we've got Intelligent traction management. Of course, we also also have all-wheel drive here. So there is normal, snow, mud, and sand. So I think we're going to consider this as mud, even though it's not too muddy. It's a little bit wet. Actually, a little bit sandy, too. So maybe I'll just push it into sand. Okay, we're in the sand mode now. Going pretty slow, three miles per hour. And we're going to approach this hill. All right, I'm going to start slow so you can get a feel for this. Yep, there's some soft sand to my left. Let's kind of go up that route here. A little acceleration here. Let's see how this grips the road. Well, that was a lot easier than I thought. Although I shouldn't be too surprised, nor should you, because this is a truck. The big challenge with people selling this as a truck is because it drives so nice. Yeah, just kind of think of this, if you look in the inside, think of it as the Honda Pilot, but you got a smoother ride experience. And you wouldn't even you wouldn't know it. Just it's so much nicer to ride in this vehicle, and you don't feel like you're on top of it like you would a truck. More like you're within the vehicle. You're all part of one of it. Does that make sense? I'm double checking that all my cameras are with me today. Okay, that one's going, and the other one should be right above me. Now we will go. Now we already went down, but we have to go back down to get back up again. Let's check this one out here. This looks probably even too challenging for me safety wise so let's go ahead and skip that yeah that's more like a jeep route and i only want to give you a demonstration here of some light duty off-roading because in, in reality you're taking a vehicle like this camping you're going on some service roads or some an orv park like this but you're avoiding some of the more deep ruts now under the hood we have a 3.5 liter v6 this gets uh, 280 horses 262 pound feet of torque very decent six-speed automatic transmission and fuel economy is 18 city 25 highway and i am averaging only 60 miles in at this point of my week with it and i'm averaging just over 16 and most of that has been around the city so this is my first time going slower and more challenging terrain this is fantastic i've been on this one here in the honda crv when it was all snowy so we're going to go this is going to show some nice articulation here as we go on the side of this road this road this dirt path i feel like uh, the vehicle is absorbing the bumps pretty well yep 
Yeah, definitely. Oh, I heard some skid back there. Again, this is gonna be a compliment to the coverage I've already done on this vehicle, and that would be my just arrived video that I did, and then what else What else I put on everymandriver.com. Just trying to give you some variety. Some of you are just looking for the off-road elements, and that's what I wanna give you today, my impressions of how this goes. Pretty responsive. Some of you wanted to have an example of what it would look like if I filled up the back of the Ridgeline and here is a bunch of boxes and it is uh, full basically to the brim so that's five feet three inches and you can load a pretty good amount of boxes back here here's another angle of the depth of the boxes it's a good amount I think what I find interesting is that the payload in this vehicle just call it a truck, Dave, is uh, 1,500 pounds, which is plenty. Can you imagine how much you can get in the back with 1,500 pounds? Quite a bit. And then towing capacity is 5,000 pounds. And that doesn't, may not seem like a lot compared to what other pickup trucks advertise, but if you consider a jet ski, um, a small U-Haul trailer, the ones you tow behind, or even a small Airstream, which is maybe about 4,500 pounds, this will take care of it. And you've got a five foot, three inch bed to, for additional storage. So over there is what we call the pond from hell, which we will not even attempt. And this is some of the section, just to give you another point of view here. That's the pond from hell. And just above it is where I used to cross and then go up. And looks like they got some down trees there. Uh, not even gonna worry about that. We're gonna go to the left though and give it a everyman driver gauntlet experience, which can be challenging, although I have never attempted it and not got up. So I guess it's just a matter of what you think and how it performs going through this narrow valley section. And again, I haven't been here for months, so it looks like we've got a lot more gravel here on the roadway. Some good challenging too, good challenging terrain. See what we feel here. I have no concern about the ground clearance and does not have a skid plate to protect underneath. See how narrow this is? But I, I have confidence in this truck and it is doing what I suspected it would do. <laughs> this really, my friends, is more extreme than I think you'd want to take your uh, vehicles on but going through here I think you can see what it is capable of doing and that is handling it like a champ there you go headlights are on by necessity look at that little acceleration I'm just tapping the the accelerator. I just want to make sure that I'm safe here, which I am. Two miles, three miles per hour, avoiding any major roots that are sticking out. Okay, here's a nice good challenge to our left. Nice and slow. Okay, we're, we're definitely up on two wheels, so the vehicle is putting the power where it needs to be. And we are, what are we still in? We're in a sand mode. So all that was in sand mode. Wow. You know, I've seen other, other videos online of people taking the Ridgeline out and every single one of them has taken it slow and has maintained decent speed like I just did there. And that is the success rate you're going to get. So this, my friends, was just a less than a 10 minute route. And I think you can, you can you know, agree that some of that was easy and some of that was definitely harder than I wanted to take it on. I, I guess it was, I was maybe hoping it would be harder, but it wasn't. How about that? I guess that's it. You saw me go down. You saw me go up the first little climb 
went through some articulation, climbed up the gauntlet, four stars out of four. How about that? So what do you think? Leave the comments below on how you think the Ridgeline did the Black Edition at the ORV Park. Was it enough for you? If not, let me know. Maybe I'll get another Ridgeline in the future. I think I'll stop right there and uh, wait for your feedback. Thanks a lot for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Drive safe. We'll see you next time. Adios. Damn.